<laughs> Unbelievable. We have got to catch them today, man, because tomorrow it's gonna be flat calm. I think everyone's gonna catch them, but you gotta just catch them slightly better with the big bait. Your 2022 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic Champion. You're gonna hold the trophy of the biggest title in bass fishing, the Bassmaster Classic, and be one of the legends to have your name on one of these banners like you, Davey Height. Here's the best way to put it. This tournament is a monster. The tournament, this is your day. It could be the moment that defines your career, so. This is a Super Bowl of fishing. The fishing is great. A lot of these anglers really feel like they've got a chance to win this week. We're about to punch the clock right now. Eight hours of hard, hard fishing. Gotta be fast, but you gotta be thorough. That's why. Go, oh, stay on there. Can't be lazy. You have to go all the way to the back. So that's a giant, dude. Sun needs to get higher. The shadows need to get smaller. When the shadows get smaller, it's game on. You gotta have like three swim bait fish in the bag today. Every single classic that we have covered, and a lot of you that have watched the, the Bassmaster Classic on Bassmaster Live, there's always this weird, eerie calm. A lot of the classics that we have covered here on Lake Hartwell, that is not the case. This is gonna be a different Lake Hartwell this time around. It's gonna have a lot more, well, diversity than in years past. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got into swim bait fishing. Man, swim bait fishing is my absolute passion. And, you know, after 10 years of fishing professionally on tour, it's like almost every tournament I'm looking for a swim bait bite. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Good dog. <laughs> Whoa, full speed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get it, buddy, get it. Okay, buddy, let's get out of here because it's going to jack up your eyes. If you go back three years, I don't know anything about what anglers did what. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I really don't. It, it's, you, you know, it's a winner-take-all tournament. It is. Yep, uh, and that is so cliche to say, but it's 1,000% true. I mean, I, I, we're not trying to make a classic. We are at the classic, and you try to sack a limit uh, to get to the classic all, all year long just to get to the classic but once you get to, to the championships like you have to go all in on your strength and hopefully your strength is something that's capable of a 20 plus pound bag and I happen to be in that camp and and you know March 1st hits tomorrow and when March comes around in the south if you're not throwing a larger than normal bait I personally don't feel like you're fishing to win, so um, things are looking yeah. really good. It's just, it's just that simple. Uh, it would be disappointing to bring two fish to the scale. Yeah, yeah. But, but it isn't any less disappointing. Yep. To five keepers. That's there. You go. I like that. That's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> well, for two years. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Man, I'm, as I'm rigging up this kind of little swim bait here, I'm just thinking about where I'm starting. Um, this lake's going through a lot of changes right now daily. I mean, it is March, it's early March, and we're in the south. That only means one thing, with the warming temperatures, air temperatures, and warming water temperatures, these fish are thinking about spawning. I'm gonna look around shallow. Um, what I saw in practice, I really, really like. I'm just excited to start using live ammunition. I've been using, you know, blanks you know, hookless lures all through practice. We're going live today. It's, uh, it could get ugly. I mean, the weather's like perfect for what I like doing. Deep, clear water. It reminds me of fishing in California. If you're not throwing something this big or that big, you're not playing to win, so. Dang. Woo. One, two, one, two. All right, we're uh, 30 seconds away from takeoff, man. Look at all these people out here. This is so awesome. I got a live camera in my boat today. Eight hours of big bait fishing, man. This is like insane, like dream scenario here. All these people out here, just gonna follow the wind, fish those pockets, skip that, skip that swim bait up underneath those docks. Looking for five big largemouth. They just called off the first few boats here. 
This feeling is unreal. Like the classic is all about bass fishing, but up until this point, all week long, it's been all about media and fluff. But without all these fans, without all this media, like we are nothing. So all of that's out of the way. We're about to punch the clock right now. Eight hours of hard, hard fishing. We're gonna fish as hard as we can, kind of play the conditions, fish new water, mix in what we need to mix in. Target goal today is 20 to 22 pounds and is absolutely doable in March, in the south, in clear water, man, I love it. I'm so amped up, man. I got up at 3.30 this morning, couldn't sleep. Practice started like seven days ago and this bite is only getting stronger, man. This is like an unreal feeling. Like this is the best feeling I've ever had going into a classic. I'm trying to go to that deep area. Yeah, this is, most of them have been hanging out like 25 to 30. And then they're just cutting up shallow up there to 12 to 10. Damn, there's some suspended out there. Yeah, I'm totally okay with fishing like a schooling spot like this because I, I literally see them moving in and out right down the gut. There's a big ball of bait right here. My, my hardcore swim bait program doesn't start until that sun gets up. We're gonna fish that whole shoreline out there. Actually, this stuff doesn't stink. It's like a really a weird mixture. Spot. It might be a large mouth. Come here, come here, come here. Ah, come here. Yep, early start. Like gone, dude. Little saucy swimmer. Down the hatch. Two and a half pounder. Like a two and a half largey. Johnny, I'm gonna make a shallow pass. Just stay right there if you would. Oh gosh, big large mouth. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, you better stay on there, girl. That's a heavy one, dude. Stay on. Oh, no. That was a big one. I saw it was barely hooked. Four pounder plus. That was a big largemouth I lost right there. We're gonna like we're gonna freaking destroy them today. The whole field is gonna absolutely shellac them. We gotta have big ones, guys. Gosh, dang it! The ball of bait. The bait's in there. That's good. It's crazy how they relate to just the gut, like this is a straight up 30 foot gut. Oh my God, I got railed on the big swimmer. Oh, come on baby, this is, that's the jam right there. Look at that. Oh, baby blueback. Baby bass. Gosh, he's hammering that swimmer. Spending just a little bit of time in here. Because I really need that sun to pop up a little bit for that swim bait bite in those docks. Oh my. It's the boat. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that was insane. Oh, 
that one feels good. Now this little spot. Oh, look at the one with it, dude. Little guys, I'm gonna throw them in there anyway. One pounder in this, like five, so we'll get rid of all these guys. Let's go swim baiting. Forget all this. There's too many spots in here. Right, now that sun is right. All right, guys, time to do it. Oh yeah. Yeah boy, let's do this. I've seen a bunch of spotted bass chasing bait. There's a lot of spots in this area, but I, you want the big large, single large mouth. That's what we're after. Big females are, are like hanging under the docks, but looking at the bank. So yeah, you could cast across. That's where the spotted bass are. They're at the end of the dock, but the big large mouth are in that little pocket right there. And there's a cable there every single time. We need direct wind. This is, I thought this would be direct wind, but that's all right. We're gonna gotta go to the other side of the lake. All right, boys, let's go to the juice juice. I thought this would be windier. It ain't. Hi, Mac. Look at that big old lens you got. Again, <laughs> gotta run with it. That's why. Oh my gosh, stay on there. They're on the secondary point. Roll with the thoughts. Come on, baby, stay on there. Go, oh, stay on there. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, you big old thing. Yeah! Woo! Yes! What'd I say? I was like, all right, let's leave. Let's go to the swim bait juice. Pick up a crankbait first cast across that point. God. That's a giant, dude. <laughs> Oh. Dude, that was amazing, man. Hey, when you get that, when you get that thought, after years and years and years of experience, you get that voice in your head, and you gotta stick with that voice. I almost pulled up the trolling motor, made a swim bait cast across there. I was like, just one more cast, let's continue on. Threw a crankbait across there, bam, that's a four pounder. Aaron, look at that one, dude. <laughs> Yes. Man, this is a nice little secondary pattern for me. The secondary points. It's got to have, look at, look up there, the chunky clay rock, the clay boulders. And when they're not in the docks, they're on these little secondaries like this. As the day progresses and that sun gets higher, those shadows in those docks get smaller. And that's where those big largemouth are hanging, right? You know, like midday, you got to have like three swim bait fish in the bag today. We really need over 20 today with the wind. All right, let's let's get it, boys. Oh yeah, dude. The sun needs to get higher, and the shadows need to get smaller. When the shadows get smaller, it's game on. You know, in practice, I spent three and a half days throwing this big swim bait and another swim bait. I got a lot of bites, but I had probably three or four times as many followers. And what that does is it shows me where the big population of, of big largemouth are. We have got to catch them today, man, because tomorrow it's going to be flat calm. I think everyone's going to catch them, but you got to just catch them slightly better with a big bait. Yeah. Let's boogie. Got to move. Got two two nice large mouth in there in, in three spots, but in my eyes right now, you got to take advantage of this wind. During the tournament, I want to fish all fresh docks, like all 
fresh everything. And, uh, and as long as the wind's blowing into them, there's a little bit of shade in there. There could very well be a, like a five or six pound largemouth, and there's like literally one bait that these big ones are biting. Um, and that's a big swim bait here. So with two nice largemouth in the box right now, I mean, I've got all day to get just land three swim bait bites and we'll have a big day. So. This next cast right here, should be one on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what we're doing the rest of, uh, rest of day one of the classic. All right, there's our first swim bait bite of the day and uh, we're just gonna keep getting rid of these spots throughout the day. It's on now, Johnny, Johnny knows. Johnny knows what's going on. I got, I got two, two for eight, and then like a three pounder, and then two spots. Gotta run, boys. I'm going south. And it's easy to get sucked into these pockets, you know, you just, it's like, endless you just keep going and going and going that's the pocket is what i'm talking about right there yeah exactly that's 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 the one the only problem is big giant one Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Dude, it's so big. It's so big, dude. Ugh. She bit it twice. It's like six. Yeah. Oh, it's so big, dude. I'm telling you, there's no other lure that get some going like that swim bait, you know, to even have a shot at catching those sixes. I mean, you have to throw a swim bait. Gosh, that fish was so big. Man. She nudged, she, yeah, she nudged it once and then came back for more, and got closer and closer to it. Man. We gotta roll, we gotta stay in the wind, man. That's the only chance, some big ones. And that wind is starting to die off. We'll be all right. Gosh, that was a big fish, dude. Let's roll. You need that perfect blend of water clarity and depth. That one where that six pounder was, like you just knew there was gonna be one there. You need to find more of that. Oh my gosh, I got hammered. Gah. Karate chopped it. Spot, probably. Dude, it's crazy. Everywhere, dude. Like, every, like everywhere on this side's got a boat in it right now. It's, everyone's doing the same thing. I mean, you know, location-wise, but no one's really throwing this. I know that for a fact. So I feel like I could catch fish behind guys. You gotta be fast, but you gotta be thorough. You can't skip a, a corner at all. You cannot, can't be lazy. You have to go all the way to the backs and cast out. A lot of work. A little more stained water. These next few pockets are that type of clarity. This one's just a little too steep. Let's go to the next cove over, guys. Swing of the bat, man, and you jump 20 spots, 30 spots. It's like they don't like the small one either. It's like they reacting to it. Damn, that was a 
big one, guys. I gotta shake that off by catching another one. Yeah! A little cold. Get rid of a spot for a largemouth all day, man. I'll do that. There's four largemouth over here. One spot. Well, dang. We had a couple opportunities we screwed up on. Lost a five. Lost a four. Ew. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. We gotta go. We're not out of it. Just gotta turn up the heat the next couple days. Classic hits hard. I'm on a, <clears throat> this is morning of day two. I could have slept for another two or three hours, that's for sure, but we got work to do today. 16, 13 yesterday, 12th place. I thought about it last night. Um, it's not too bad. We're not out of it. You know, the old, old saying, old cliche, can't win it on the first day, but we could lose it on the first day. We didn't, we didn't lose it, so. Eat a little breakfast here, get me a big old thing of coffee, and uh, cruise to the lake and think about, uh, just visualize those swim bait casts, and we'll keep making them. But I do need to find out how to catch them on a finesse bait today. That's my number one goal. So how do I, is it whether it's a wacky rig or a little tiny tube? I gotta figure that part out. So, uh, dude, I'm only, what, three pounds? Uh, just uh, like three, three out of, uh, out of first place. So literally, the three, you know, the two, the, you know, the five, the, the, you know, the six plus that we saw uh, that followed my swim bait out. I mean, you get one of those big ones like that to bite and, uh, and you're at the top of the leaderboard. So we've got clouds, it's gonna be calm. Um, and that's like the complete opposite of what uh, we had yesterday. Yesterday was sunny and windy. I thought we were gonna have over 20 uh, on the swim bait. I really did. I, I was quite disappointed only weighing two swim bait fish yesterday. Um, so today with it being calm, cloudy, the fish are gonna be looser to the docks um, if you go about it by the book. But who knows, they might be right up on those docks. So yesterday was kind of an off day for me. Maybe today are the right conditions for a swim bait. Either way, like this is a classic and things always change. 
So, um, you know, we got to change with them. We, I mean, you absolutely have to. And yesterday when I had a little feeling, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, I almost pulled up the trolling motor after some swim baiting some docks. I saw a little wind blown point. I'm like, let me just pick up a crankbait. First cast, boom, caught one that was, you know, high fours, almost five pounders. So those little voices that you have, you have to roll with those. And if I'm going to make it to the top six uh, on Sunday, um, you know, uh, I'm going to have to go with those little voices. So five, four, three, two. If it's anything like our start yesterday, as you mentioned, Mark Zona, it's going to be fun. You don't want to miss it. Absolutely right. And really, the if you're going to hold the trophy of the biggest title in bass fishing, the Bassmaster Classic, and be one of the legends to have your name on one of these banners like you, Davey Height, here is the best way to put it. This tournament is a monster. A lot of big ones down here. They're just, they're not, there's no bait, but there's a lot of big ones cruising. Oh my God, there's so many of them right there. There were a couple of big ones. You could tell because you see the schools of little ones, and then all of a sudden there's two or three giant ones behind it. I think those are largemouth. Hey man, we're gonna stick to these largemouth docks and just pitch a tube and play the conditions. And the conditions are slow and calm and no sun. Largemouth will bite this tube. I, I know they will. It will. It's like the perfect presentation. There's so many of them down there. I keep seeing some. There's some bigger ones down there, but they stay away from those little schools. Little crazy spots with excellent vision. Like I want to throw the swim bait through all this, but I feel like I, mean, I didn't practice on these calm, cloudy days, dude. And all you just see is followers, or they just they never committed to it. But the only, I mean, not much has changed other than the water temperature came up three or four degrees. I mean, that might help, but. They're biting this tube so good. I really think that, you know, the same docks we have been fishing where I saw all these big ones in practice chase my big swim bait out. I think with the cloud cover and how slick it is, I think you'd grab a little tube and pitch like to the outside corners because they're going to be loose to it. They're not going to be up underneath the docks. So I think if we take our time and just you know, keep ourselves in those same docks that we saw those fives and sixes, you know, we'll be all right. little guy. I'm getting bored of this guys. I'm gonna get right into the swim bait stuff. There's so many fish here though. <laughs> Just got a dead stick it is all. All right, this tube right here. I catch those swim bait fish from yesterday. Plan simple. Everywhere I saw big swim bait fish, I just cast that tube in there and fish real slow. came in this cove in practice and that dock had a five on it, the first dock had a five, and then that blue dock had a five in it. Chased my swim bait out. You guys here just for the derby? That's a big one. Good job. Nice work, that is a big one. There were three or four others with it. Fish are wandering, man, under these clouds. You see them just Sprinkled onesie twosie there, there. This 
stay on there. Ain't that big. There's a whole school of them right there. That first one was a freaking giant. Tearing all freaking over this cove. Oh, there's a couple of them. Come on, man. We needed this wind to activate some something. Push them to the bank. Some lock mouth activity. Oh boy, behind me. Whoops. There's some good ones in there. Oh my god, dude, those are freaking hammers. Dude, there's something about this co, I'm telling you, those are all five pound plus fish. They're all large enough. All around these docks, I mean. Uh oh. Bigger, but not huge. Let's go on a little swim bait tour, boys. Gotta get rid of all these spots. Now we got wind, too, so we need that for sure. I could do it without the sun, but I, I gotta have wind. Let's go to a, a cove we didn't fish yesterday that was loaded full of fives. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I know for sure it was a large mouth. I don't know how big. Dang it. There's one. I should be able to catch one every stop from here on out, large mouth. Man, I do there's like several in there. Should be able to have a limit of those. I mean, with these spots from here back. Dude, where's my wind at? Oh my god, are they busting right there? They are busting right there. Oh my gosh. Those are big ones. Big striper. when it goes down, man. Come on. Take the hoodie off. It's getting to be that time. Gosh. Cold fish, but not by much. Come here, Spot. Come here, Spotty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one's like super fat. Here, I'll get rid of that one. Yeah, two, two pounder. I can't.
can't buy a largemouth bike to save my life, dude. It's crazy. I wonder what the largemouth do on days like today. It's really weird. You'd think they'd just be shallow roaming. Come on, baby. All right, let's get out of here. Let's move. Man, they are just not set up at all today. What is the deal? There are herring everywhere. that's smaller than every spot in there. All right, let's go check on that big one, boys. mouth <laughs> please baby please that's where that six was yesterday same cast oh gosh be a good one gosh I need this I need this fish Sorry, Johnny. A nice spot. Oh man, we need that. Dang, bud. I hope we made it till tomorrow. Jeez. Shallow swim bait bite absolutely was non-existent today like not even close i kept on seeing the um the herring like in the, right dead center in the middle of these channels and i think a lot of these largemouth are just like roaming right down the center Ugh, that's frustrating man we gotta go i think we got about 13 pounds well i hope we're fishing tomorrow See you over there, Johnny, Mac. We're having so much fun back here, dude. Look at me, like, guys, help me out here. Dude, I'm gonna have 29 pounds, and everyone's weighing in 29, 11, 29, 12, 29, 13. <laughs> Well, I woke up this morning with uh, one of the worst feelings in fishing. And that is waking up before your alarm goes off 
expecting to go to the ramp, but realizing you didn't make the cut. And you hear all the boats in the back when you're staying at the lake house taking off, blasting off at 7 a.m. and uh, realizing you're not a part of it. But, you know, that's uh, that was it. We had a solid game plan, that swim bait game plan, and um, it just didn't work out. I had one of the best practices I ever had this week, and, and um, I had a... I had a really good uh, understanding of what kind of pockets the fish were, were hanging out in, especially those big swim bait ones that were behind the docks. As the tournament went on, they got away from that real shallow, you know, the walkways to the docks, and they started relating to the fronts of the docks, and eventually ended up getting out in the middle of the ditches there. So, um, swim bait thing kind of went away, and I knew day two was going to be my worst day because of the wind, the lack of wind. And uh, I sure would like to be out there today, but. I got my markers all ready to do some uh, some autographing there on the expo floor. It's going to be crazy, but um, this is the only decision I have to make today, is what hat I'm going to wear at the expo. So uh, yes, it sucks. Yes, it's just disappointing, but um, you know, I got to fish the classic. At least I gave myself a shot. We can't get too down on uh, on ourselves. I mean, you know, we've got uh, you know a couple good uh, finishes down in Florida prior to this event, and then we hop right back in the Elite Series. So um, we have like seven days off, and then boom, we're right back at, uh, practicing on Santee Cooper, uh, which is also in South Carolina here. So. This week we didn't play for points. Next week we're right back on the clock for points. So, um, you know, when you find a little something next week, it's uh, it's you know you're not gonna have you're not gonna have the opportunity to go all in because uh, no bombs this season and um, you know it's just AOI. You got to think about AOI and it's gonna happen all season long.